Practical Affinity. My name's Jeff. If you like what you see today, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. It would be really helpful for me to, to help grow this channel. Today's video is going to be a quick one. I'll be creating a template for making YouTube banner pages and YouTube profile pics. Templates are really useful if you're going to be doing the same thing um, type of project over and over again. So let's get started. To start off with, we're going to click File, New, and start a new project. There's a lot of different things that you can use over here on the left um, that are always already preset, but we're going to set up a brand new one. Uh, the layout for a YouTube profile uh, or banner page is uh, 2560 pixels by 1440 pixels. Um, this is what you would see if you were opening up YouTube on a TV. That's the, um, you got to set up YouTube banner so that you can see it on all kinds of devices. Uh, so we'll use that for our size, um, make sure we're going to set the DPI to 300 um, and we're going to make sure the color is set to transparent. You can see that by the little checker boxes up here on top. So we're going to hit create and that gives you the page, the maximum outline for a YouTube banner. So once we got that, we are going to make a couple guides on the inside. Uh, first guide on the inside is for a desktop or laptop um, dimensions. Um, those are 2560 by 423 pixels. Then we're going to make uh, same kind of dimensions except for a mobile device, um, which is a little bit smaller and will sit in the middle. So let's start with the internal guide uh, first for the desktop and laptop. I'm going to drag a box. Just drag it across here, any size box will do. We're going to specify the actual dimensions and then we're going to put it into the middle. So down here in the transform panel, I am going to click 2560, that's the width, by 423, the height. And then I'm going to get the select tool and I'm going to move it so that you can see it's right in the middle based on these guides. If you don't see those guides, you might not have snapping turned on. The snapping is, is up here on the top. You can just click on that little magnet shape. Uh, it'll help you position objects and get them right where you want them. Okay, so that is the, the box, but I don't really want to have a fill in it. So I'm gonna make the fill from white to transparent. So I go over here to this color panel and I'm gonna slide the slider for the opacity down to zero and you can see it's gone transparent. And now I do want to see the lines. I don't want to have to click on the box to see the lines. So I'm just going to take the stroke and up it, up it just a little bit to one point. Whenever you see a little box like this along next to a slider, you can just type a number in there if you know what it is that you want to see. Or you can move the slider to play with it. And that way you get a feel as to, you know, if you don't know what you want, you can just slide it until you see it. So I'm going to hit enter and you can see our little lines. Okay, so now I'm going to do this same thing for a mobile device uh, guide. I'm going to click on the box. I'm going to drag it out about the same height. Um, and then I'm going to go down and put in the dimensions for the um, uh, mobile devices, which is uh, 1546 pixels width. I'm going to click on the height is 423. We already got that in place and just go ahead and enter that in there and then hit the select tool and move this to the side until you see it's in the middle. Okay, there you go. We have a template, but now to save it as a template, what you need to do is export this to as a template and it's going to ask us to add, uh, to send this to a specific file. So you can pause this video now and on your computer somewhere, wherever you put your affinity projects is a nice place. Um, set up a folder that just says template or it can say affinity templates or whatever you want. So once you've done that, come back and we'll start over again. Here we go. We're going to export this as a template and then we're going to save it. Uh, today I'll save it as YouTube banner template. Then I'm going to click, you should be able to see this now, a uh, template folder that you've just created. I've already created mine. Um, and so I'm going to call this YouTube banner template. 
one. Just call it that so we know what it is. I'm gonna hit save and now you have a template. There you go. So if I wanna go back later on and create another template, all I have to do is go to File, New, and down here on the side, you have a template box. Look around here, YouTube Banner Template 1. This is my template. I'm gonna hit Create, and I got a new template. You'll notice that there's no file name. I can start this as a new project and start a brand new banner to put on my YouTube channel. Okay, so we're gonna do this one more time here for a profile pic picture for um, your YouTube page. Profile pictures are a smaller version uh, of some other information, whatever you want to put. It's just like, like a lot of times you'll put your, your face there or a logo or whatever. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do this by going to new. Now, as I said, this was smaller, and so the, um, uh, it can only be about four megabits um, and very small, like 98 by 98. It has to be at least that big, but I found that 800 by 800 is the perfect size. At, 300 DPI. So I'm going to go 800, 800, 300 DPI, and you get this perfect square. I'm going to hit create, and there you go. With this, you don't really need any guidelines. It just is a nice uh, template to have as an 800 by 800 square. Um, so I'm going to go to do the same thing. I'm going to hit file, export as a template, click on my templates thing, and save it as YouTube profile picture I'm going to save that and if we want to open a new one we would just go to file new and click on templates and you would see if I scroll down YouTube profile picture I've done this a couple times so you see two of them there so I'm going to hit create again and boom there you go you see it's not titled and um, it's ready for to start your next project all right so yeah you've done it next time um, you make a banner page or a profile picture just go to file new hit templates create and you're good to go thanks so much for joining me if you like today's content please hit subscribe and hit the like button it would really help me grow my channel have a great day everyone thanks